it's an exciting time for us at the Ara Project. We're in Costa Rica on the Pacific coast at our captive breeding center. We have several pairs of great green macaws. They're individuals that would not be suitable for release, but they're contributing to conservation by producing chicks which then go, go on to be released. And we have several pairs with chicks, which is really exciting. The released birds, the scarlet macaws that are flying free around here, are also breeding. The older birds from those, that release group have uh, chosen wild palms, natural nest cavities, and they've been uh, using them. And we've got one pair that our field biologist has found have already uh, got a chick, so that's really exciting. There are also the other birds, more, it seems like the younger birds, are exploring the artificial nest boxes that, we, that the team have made and they've installed them up in, in trees, which has been a, a tremendously exciting job. And uh, beyond that, we also have our release site in Manzanillo on the Caribbean coast. That's uh, where the historic range of the Great Green Macaw uh, would have extended to, and we've reintroduced the species back there. And those birds, which were captive bred and are now released back into the wild, are also breeding. And we have several pairs there using artificial nest boxes, and breeding and they've got chicks now. We also have an amazing story which is the story of Rose. She was a chick in a nest, a wild pair, a released pair of birds, scout macaws here in Punta Lita. They'd nested in a palm tree and, and Rose was um, close to fledging and then she disappeared and she was, she was poached. And it, somehow, one year later, she managed to escape from, from the captivity where she was and she turned up in a village near here. We got informed about this and Rose seemed to think she was uh, you know, gonna hang out with the chickens. And so we worked with the, the ministry here in Costa Rica and we rescued Rose. We've brought her to the side. She's in quarantine right now. Uh, she's been tested for diseases and um, she's come back all clean, which is really great news. And we have a group of 12 birds, 12 scarlet macaws that we hope to release this year. Rose, we hope, will join that group. She'll work out that she's a scarlet macaw and a bit like the ugly duckling story and then we're hoping that we'll be able to release her, give, give her training on what food she really needs to eat, discourage her from socializing with chickens and then release her into the wild again so that she can be part of this release flock and, and a, a scarlet macaw that contributes to the conservation of her species. So we're, we're over the moon, it's a wonderful story for her and, and for us to have or actually be free in the wild. The mission at the Arrow Project is to protect populations and species. So we've just had an amazing trip to Fundacion del Rio in Nicaragua. We traveled on boats to the middle of nowhere. This is an organization that's working to protect Great Green Macaw Nests. And they're doing wonderful work. They're very focused on communities and helping uh, people to protect nests. And we were really pleased with the success that, that they're having. The, the birds in this area, the Great Green Macaws, are in the southern end of Nicaragua. And so they, they're the same birds that move over into the northern areas of Costa Rica. So we're protecting that same population and it's great to work with them and to see their impact uh, on this, this stronghold for the species. Aquí estamos en, en la finca de Don Noel Mendoza, en la comunidad de Boca Escalera. Eh, este, este señor ha tenido un nido de, de lapa verde durante tres años más o menos aproximadamente. After Hurricane Otto, a lot of the big old trees have been blown over. So this is one of the trees that suffered in the hurricane. We're seeing this all over the area. We've been walking for yesterday for four hours. La 
fincas que fue también afectada por el huracán Otto. ¿no? Botó muchos árboles de almendros, como pueden ver. Y al botar los árboles de almendros, eso va a dificultar en el futuro que, que las lapas puedan conseguir más alimentos. Eh, también el, el huracán botó un árbol que nosotros estábamos considerando como un árbol semillero para recolectar frutas de almendro para proyectos de reforestación. All of this work has been made possible thanks to you, generous donors to the parrots. Whether it's the Help Parrots Find Love campaign, which helped us uh, improve our captive breeding facilities and has resulted in us producing baby macaws, which will be released in the future. Or whether it's our Stop Poaching campaign, which has helped us uh, protect wild nests and to rescue rose, and in future we'll be releasing rose back into the wild. Or our Protect the Great Green Macaws uh, campaign that ran at the end of last year, which is helping us to work with the wild population. The howler monkeys apparently are also very grateful, and so from the Arrow Project team, the parrots here, and all of us in Costa Rica, thank you very much.